I'll be showing you step by step how you can set up your abandoned cart flow in Klaviyo. So make sure you stay until the end of the video. If you don't already have it installed, head to the Shopify app store to download Klaviyo. There is a completely free plan available and this is gonna let you follow step by step. So let's start things off from within the Klaviyo dashboard. What we're gonna do is head to the flow section so we can set up the abandoned cart sequence. So you'll hit flows and click on it on the left here. And there should be a section to either view all ideas. This will give us a a template for the abandoned cart flow, making things easier. So in my dashboard, I can see it on the left here. You can see that conversion rates for this flow are three times what they are of other flows. Let's hit get started, and this will open up the template for which we can create our abandoned cart flow. So if you've never seen the Clavio editor before, we have our left-hand side for actions where we can add different things into the flow by dragging them in. And then we have our middle section. This will be the actual flow, starting from the trigger to the exit. The trigger for this one is gonna be when the checkout is started. So if we click into this trigger here, this is gonna be a Shopify action, and that's gonna be integrated automatically by you installing the app on your Shopify store. There's no need to touch this one here as it's automatically set up. We can then see the timeline delays. So the flow is gonna be wait four hours, send the email, wait 20 hours, send another email. So what I'm gonna to do to the sequence is I'm gonna shorten the timeline here, send an email out immediately, and I'm gonna add a third email to the sequence offering a discount for the customer. And throughout this example, I'll explain all the settings along the way. Let's dive into the first section. I'll set the delay to 30 minutes to hit them right away while they're still thinking about the product. Now this is gonna be up to you and how exactly long you think you should wait, but I'll just leave this as 30 minutes here. Next, let's go and edit that first email. So I'll click the email, go to the left-hand side, then hit edit. We'll open up the overall editor, where I can name the email, I'll leave that the same. Maybe add an emoji here, I'll search for cart. Maybe I'll just say the preview text will be our stock is running low. Next, let's go into edit the email where we can edit the actual content. So some things will automatically be filled in. You can see the item.product title, this will be the image. So I'm not going to touch this section as it's going to be automatically created and integrated with my Shopify store. The title, maybe I'll say something along the lines of we saved your items for you. Next, I'll go and change this color here. So the Shopify store, I'm using as an example, the camping store. So maybe I'll change the call to action as green and I'll remove the drop shadow here. And rather than saying return to cart, I'll go and edit the text here and I'll just use support back to your cart. Now the language is really dependent on your store and the tone you want to set in the email. I'll change the text here as well to add a little bit of scarcity, saying we reserve your items for 24 hours, so they don't miss out, and grab this deal. I want to mention our sponsor, Profit Calc, one more time. The one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. There's a link in the description below. Access the Shopify app listing. You can also find it in the Shopify app store by searching Profit Calc and looking for this logo in the top left, both of which get you access to a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in our next video. I wanna mention our sponsor Profit Calc, the one click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. It'll allow you to skip your spreadsheets and get real time calculations in just one click. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get a clear understanding of your store's true performance and and actual profit. It's also going to display a variety of different detailed metrics so you can make better business decisions. It's also going to sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts and with many cost you can sold methods. You can find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below to get direct access to the listing, both of which gets you a 15 day free trial where you can test drive everything for yourself. Maybe I'll say click the link and then add an emoji to complete your purchase. I look to mobile. That looks pretty decent as well. And so I'm not making this video too long here. Let's just hit save and exit and done as well. And that will be the first email here. So let's go and add that third email. Won't go into editing each email as that is a little time consuming here and I don't wanna make this video too long. But if you want, leave a comment and I can do a more detailed deep dive. So next let's go to time delay. We'll add another one here. Let's say, let's make this 24 hours, hit save here. I'll go to the middle one and I'll say 12 hours after. I'm trying to compress the flow here and to add another email, I can go and drag it from the left and I can drag it below the latest time delay that I added in. Now let's say you want to add an SMS or notification depending on your integrations with Clavio and how you've set them up. Let's go and add another time delay. Let's set this one to 48 hours this time. And rather than an email, let's send them an SMS. It says do tend to have a higher open rate. Now this isn't configured yet. But when you're ready, you can hit configure content here and it will give you another editor to open it. Now let's say maybe I want to add 
an SMS here right behind my first email. So I want to go double hit them here with different content. I'll drag the SMS here and I'll add another time delay. Let's say another 30 minutes following that initial email. This flow is going to be dependent on how you want to contact your customers, what time period you're selling them to. Maybe it's going to take them six weeks to get to a purchase decision then you can kind of space out your emails a little more. Maybe they're impulse buys. So you want to email them multiple times. The first three days, as you know, they'll probably never come back after that. So once you're ready and done with your sequence, you can go to review and turn on here and hit confirm info. Now I'm just going to remove the SMS here as that isn't set up yet. And you can hit turn on and the sequence will now be live. Turn this off again. You can go to update action statuses. I can turn this back into a draft. Once you've set up your sequence, maybe it's been a few days. You now want to know how successful it's been. Maybe you want to tweak some variables. But if we go back into our abandoned cart sequence, there is a show analytics tab on top. And that's going to give you detailed metrics for each of your emails. You can see the open rate, the click rate, and how many people placed an order. So it'll give you a good idea of which emails are the most successful, or maybe which ones need to be edited. It's also going to give you a count of who's waiting, which ones need to be reviewed, which one have been delivered, and which ones have been skipped. So this is going to be the flow sequence. So it's going to kind of build like a funnel here. So when someone starts a checkout, they'll put in a timer for wait 30 minutes, and then they'll be pushed into this email. From there, it's going to wait another 12 hours, and it's just going to trickle down from there. And this will give you a good idea of who is where. As when you're making edits to the flow while it's still active, you have to be aware that you can kind of change some of the behavior so you probably want to set this to draft before making further changes while it is live. But if you want to go to manage flow in the top right, you can also back populate the flow recipients. So let's say this flow wasn't active. You can then push it back to make sure those people who weren't added originally are added at that point in time. You can also change the analytics from whether you want to view it in the last 30 days, 90 days, or custom date ranges. So this is going to conclude the video on the abandoned cart flow for your Clavio sequence. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment.